Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel if you're returning or welcome if this is the first time you've ever clicked on my video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this message resonates with you. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This video will be um, broken up into three different parts. The first part being the general, the second part being the person on your mind, and the last part, the singles. Uh, apologize in advance for the fan sound in the background it is very very hot in my kitchen the air doesn't circulate well back here so it's like 98 degrees here so yeah I can't do a reading if I'm sweating and very hot so I wanted to get on here and do a reading for you but still be pretty comfortable while doing it I'm gonna probably edit this out in a way to where the noise is not as bad but if you do hear air sounds that's what it is okay it is what it is. If you guys would like a personal reading, check me out down below in the description to find out how to book a reading with me, okay? Let's get into your general energy, Pisces. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What can you tell me? What's going on, Pisces? What's going on with my Pisces? Okay. <laughs> Some of you guys could be wanting to go on a group date. You could be going on a group date. Sorry, I'm the worst. I fucked up. Late bloomer. We have the optimist. We have the host. It, uh, what what is this? Is somebody arranging some type of date or meet up with somebody that you guys this is really specific. This is going to be almost a damn personal read for general. If, let's say you broke up with somebody, but like your friend or your family member or something really likes that person. It's almost like they're arranging some kind of meetup with this person unbeknownst to you. like Or like wherever you go. You could go to a like a dinner or something like that, and this person is just miraculously there, but it's it's not by chance they were invited or some shit. Somebody wants to apologize to you, Pisces, but it's gonna be in a way that takes you off guard. They could get you something, they could get you balloons, a cake, flowers, something. Somebody could be giving you some type of gift to try to make up to you for something that they did. Um, you guys could feel like late bloomers like you've done things later in your life but that's okay don't feel like you have to be on everybody else's schedule you are more of a free spirit you do kind of fly by the seat of your pants and you allow things to flow in and out of your life and you're not as uptight as other signs are with you being a pisces also some of you guys can be very optimistic about your life even though you feel like, oh, yeah, I'm late to the party. There's a lot of things that my friends have done that I haven't done yet or my family has done that I haven't done yet. You don't really try to get too worked up about it. And some of you guys could be wanting to go on, like, you could find yourself going on group dates. Like, you might even be the person that never has a date. Like, you could always be, like, a third wheel or something. And even that's okay. I do feel like I said earlier, like there's somebody in your energy that's fucked up with you and they're trying to find a way to apologize. And it's going to be kind of like they show up or they pop up somewhere where, you know, you're going to be at. A lot of you guys, the bachelorette, as I split the deck, some of you are really basking in your, your single energy. You might not need, you know, a love thing going on right now. You could be perfectly fine with being single, but there's somebody in your energy that doesn't really want you to be, whether that is friends, family, because of like the group date, it's like, I'm hearing somebody like, you should come. You have been single for too long. You need to get back out, uh, back out there. You should come. We're going to such and such this weekend. You need to get out. You need to meet new people. You know, that's kind of what I'm seeing. Somebody's like, you should, we're all married and you're not. And I don't know. We have letting go here. We have beauty. And, you know, there's a serpent in, bo in both of those pictures. And it's almost like somebody has deceived you. Let me pull this up here and see if I'm my eyes are deceiving me. But that looked like... 
I don't know. That looked like a snake to me coming up in the mist. So I'm just going to say what I initially got first with my intuition. If some of you are trying to let go of deception. Somebody has deceived you. 26 could mean something to you. 7 could or 17. But there's definitely a serpent right here. You know, they say from something I read a while back about Pisces is Pisces is known to be um, known as like the most beautiful of the zodiac. Many Pisceans, specifically the feminines, tend to be very beautiful, have very beautiful features. And um, so it's not that you are not attractive enough to have options. Some of you guys are just, you feel like it'll happen when it happens. You're not really putting too much pressure on yourself about it, but I feel like other people around you are. Some of you have some, a lot of pride, and it's like maybe part, part of that, there's part of yourself that is like trying to shed that part of yourself, and then other, the other part is like alive and well, okay? You see how half of her is like alive, and half is like the skeleton, so it's like there's an ego death that needs to kind of happen and it's almost like it's partially happened for you but not all the way okay so there's definitely a side of you that gets very prideful and you could almost not want to ask for help people could maybe not know what all you really go through internally because you try to be there for other people so much and that's the pride aspect of yourself People might not know the internal struggles you deal with because you, on the outside, you just don't look like what you've gone through, okay? You are very put together. You could not look like you have ever had a bad day or whatever the case, you know? And so, I don't know. I feel like people around you need to be more sensitive to the fact that maybe if you are going through a breakup or something that you might not want to get right back into another relationship. Like, I feel like there's somebody around you that's really pressuring you to be out and about and be seen and even more so there could be somebody around you that's pressuring you to get back with somebody that you do not want to get back with they're trying to force a relationship to happen or force you to listen to somebody's apology and you might not want to and again that might not even be relationship it could be somebody that's just portrayed you in general okay we have stability here healing and fear. So I feel like one of the main things that you're focus the, the main things you're focusing on right now at, from a general standpoint for this month of August, Pisces is stability and healing. Maybe you don't feel too stable in your situation. You could be having financial issues, you could be having housing issues, you could be feeling like you don't not sure where you stand with your career. There could be a lot of things up in the air. And so stability and being able to pay your bills and not have to worry about finances and things like that could be very important for you right now. Also healing after letting go from this, like letting go of some type of deceptive energy that's around you. Um, healing those, you know, wounds that you have inside of yourself. Feeling like maybe you're a little behind with the late bloomer card coming out. You could feel like you're a little behind, you know. Um, Pisces, you guys are the fish, and you're always known as like the two fishes swimming in a circle, swimming in a circle. So, some a lot of times Pisces find that they kind of are chasing their tails a lot. So you could feel like you're, you never really. I'm not gonna say you never excel, but you could feel like you take one step forward only to have like take ten steps backward kind of thing. You could find that as a trend that's happened in your life. So even though these things happen, I feel like you're still pretty laid back and you're still pretty positive about your life. But before you look up, you could realize that you've wasted a lot of time. There's also a fear there. I feel like that's the fear. The fear is that one day you're going to wake up and, you know, you're going to look up and you're going to find that, you know, you're not where you need to be or where you want it to be. And now it's almost like too late, so to speak. But as long as you're on the earth, as long as you're here, it's never too late um, to do the things that you want to do. You know, you just have to have the mindset. So that's what I have for you for the general Pisces. Now let's get into the person on your mind, okay? 
Let me get some written messages for you. Person on your mind, Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What can you tell me? Person on Pisces, my your intuition is so on point. It's scary to me. I don't know how you know what you do. I've just accepted that you're gifted and will never, and I will never be able to lie to you. High priestess. High priestess energy is that Piscean energy. Okay, so here we are talking about this deception. Whoever this person is, they deceived you in some way and it was found out about. Okay, this is something you're still healing from, recovering from. And, you know, this person is just like, well, damn, I could never really hide anything from Pisces. Pisces is always going to find out about me. Okay. Somebody definitely, this is Pressure by 2 Chains and Lil Wayne. So look up the lyrics to that. But basically this song is about you guys being baddies. Okay. The beauty card did come out. I already talked about that. Like you guys carry yourself well. You have like this walk, you know, that's really turns people on i don't know like it's just an energy that you possess that makes you very attractive i have a tendency to hide my true feelings and i'm a, and i'm more private it doesn't mean you can't trust me though we have the moon here it could be a cancer you're dealing with even though they proved that they were deceptive though we have misunderstood by lucky day there's a there's a, a a verse in that song that says maybe we're better misunderstood. And like something about overthinking and like it's almost like a giving up kind of an energy and it's almost like woe is me, nobody ever understands me, so I guess I shouldn't have expected anything more from you kind of vibe. So this person could lack a lot of accountability when they're caught in something they could do a lot of gaslighting this person could be light skin for their race or they could be white All right third party knows my attention is fading and it's because my heart and soul craves only you For those of you guys that they're with somebody else right now, that's not, you know, going to be something that's forever. I'm going to make you happier than they ever did. Just give me a chance to show you. So there could be a new lover coming in. And this is where, you know, maybe that, you know, in the general portion when I said, you know, you have friends that are encouraging you to date again and to be seen and to be out and about and to maybe participate in group dates and stuff. You have new energy around you and, you know, I feel like you have a lot to offer Pisces and you don't need to be kind of like, you know, hiding yourself away in the house or something like that. Just because of somebody else's book up. We have some feelings never go away by Nia Sultana. So somebody feels like they're forever going to be your favorite, though, regardless of what happens. Um, or you're forever going to be their favorite. And it's like some feelings never go away like if i saw you years and years from now i would still have feelings for you and you just do that for me you know um there's a part of that song that's something about it's something about years from now i still could get you life's been better with you out the picture um, but she's kind of lying to herself, like, in the song. I think she says those things to try to, like, make herself feel better. I don't know. I'd have to dissect the song. But it's kind of like that. They have a little bit of cockiness that, like, you know, I could still get you. I know you still love me, Pisces. Um, I love you, too, and that's never going to change. And even if I seen you, like, years and years from now, I would, it would, like, take me back, like, immediately. Like, so somebody really does have feelings for you that just don't seem to be going away we have that's you lucky day so somebody feels like i can't remember what that song's lyrics are uh look that one up um i just feel like somebody has really put you on a high pedestal so why they deceived you in the first place i'm not sure we have why didn't you just let me explain myself i never wanted things to go like this 
bitter. Yeah, some of you guys are wondering why as well. We have Let Me Go by Giveon. Back and forth, I'm exhausted. You guys didn't see eye to eye a lot. I feel like this person just gave up. I see you with this new energy. It seems like you're moving on, possibly dating. I hate watching you in secret, but I hope you find happiness. We have the full energy here, Aquarius energy. Hmm. Third party doesn't realize that every time they take me back, I lose respect for them. I respect you the most for leaving me, the one who got away. Could be dealing with the toxic mindset of a person, which is what I'm picking up on. We also have fake jealous energy here. Frenemies and fake exes. Lacking maturity, cheating, drugs and alcohol, toxic exes, and toxic family and friends. I, I do feel like that's what's surrounding you guys. Because I even feel like maybe even your friends that you hang out with are not the best for you. Because I feel like they pressure you to do things. Or be around people or situations that you're not comfortable with and that you've told them like hey yeah like i don't want to do that or i'm not ready or i want to stay in tonight oh no come out da, da, da. like i feel like you have pressuring types of energy around you and then you eventually cave and then you're somewhere you don't want to be like it's giving that And maybe because some of you are late bloomers, like you might not have children, you might not have ever been married or whatever the case, people throw that in your face and then it makes you feel like a pressure that you have to like be like the people that are around you. And I've said that before many, many times in Pisces readings, you guys um, do feel this need to kind of be like the people around you. You like to kind of blend in with the people around you. So if you're hanging around people that are doing those kinds of things, you're going to want to feel included by doing the same stuff with them, okay? But these people could be jealous of you. They could be fake as hell. Some of these friends you have are really enemies. Um, a lot of these um, exes and these people in your life were fake. Let's get more into this energy, Pisces. So, Pisces, you guys are like the masters of the dream world. So you could be getting a lot of messages about this person or 5D messages from a telepathic communication, I'm not sure, from this person in your dreams. Like you could feel their energy really tugging on you because they're in a position that they don't want to be in with this third party. So they're really calling out to you. You being very intuitive the way you are, you could be picking up on that. Some of you guys have some kind of contract with each other and they want this renewal they want something to spark off with you they you know they're feeling all hot and heavy for you it could be another water sign another pisces a cancer or a scorpio it's that ace of cups energy they are ready to want to come back to you okay they're getting afraid that you know you're moving on which you know they would be right because there is a new lover energy coming towards you and it's like they want to come in uh, to stop that how are they seeing you right now? They're looking at it like everything that they were ha they had growing with you and how it failed and how they wish that, you know, they could have had a family with you and been married or something like that, had a had a household with you. But thinking about everything that they were building with you could be an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn they're really looking at it with some regret for sure yeah toxicity got in the way the toxic mindsets they could have cut you off because of other people what other people had to say um not giving equally to the situation because of some type of control thing that they had didn't I say that from the very begin beginning? What was the very first card? Oh, that was about intuition. But I'm getting like 
if they ever got resentful towards you about stuff that you had been saying to them that was true, their way to get back at you was to, to give less and take more or something. Just toxicity in general is what got in the way of this. How are you feeling about them? You feel like they are a burden and that you have defeated that, like you have closed out this cycle with them. Like the cycle is done and completed. And all it is is conflict internally, emotionally, all of that when it comes to this person. A lot of you guys feel like you feel like you can conquer and accomplish whatever it is that you set your mind to. And you've closed off your emotions from this person. You've walked away. Okay. So a lot of you are really officially kind of done with this situation, but they're just not done with it with you, okay? That's what I have for you for the person on your mind. They're definitely, in your energy, they're trying to send you messages and shit in your dreams, honey. They're trying to visit you in your dreams, sending you all kinds of energy. A lot of y'all feel it anyway. But some of you have made that decision to be done with the situation, and some of you have a new lover coming in that wants to show you different anyway. So I love that for y'all. Let's get into your single energy now, Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Piscean singles that are not dealing with any of the drama. What's crowning the Pisces singles? What's crowning them? Okay. All right, Pisces. So, <laughs> okay. It's basically a continuation of what I just just talking about. You singles, you have a lover coming in. Could be a Gemini. You have a soulmate coming in. But the thing that's crowning this and it's going to cause some conflict with this soulmate coming in is having conflict with the past life lover that you have that contract with. Why is the Five of Swords here? Mm. Somebody's refusing to move on from you. Um, they could get gain happiness by fighting with you, which is a really toxic thing for me to say, but I see it. Um, they're not walking away. There's a lot that they hold back from you and a lot of their feelings, they just kind of like hide them. They could be really secretive about how they really feel and not very emotional. Like they don't express their emotions very well. And for some of you, you're trying to heal and get over them. And that's why they're going to come rushing back in. They don't want you to heal. They don't want you to get over them. And for some of you, it makes them happy to argue with you, to get you all in a tizzy. You fighting with them is making this to will make this toxic person feel like, oh, they still love me. You know, that's kind of what I'm getting. They're not really wanting nothing out of this. So they just want to stall you from getting your soulmate love, getting having this person come in. This is definitely somebody from your past that's trying to block your new lover from coming in. Okay. <laughs> this person's eventually get going to let you go and give up as long as you keep the idea of i'm not attracted to you anymore i'm not in love with you anymore i'm done i've moved on like you have to stand firm in that and you have to be kind of patient with it and it's going to be kind of like a little waiting game like i don't feel like this person's going to disappear overnight just because you say i don't want you no more like this is something that might take a little time for this person to get out your energy i feel like it could interfere with this lovers tell me more about the lovers
yeah, this is somebody who I feel like even if you do have you explain the situation, like I got a crazy ex that's not leaving me alone. I've told them I don't want to be with them no more. They're not listening. I told them that I'm moving on and they're not listening. Like I feel like this is somebody that's going to work with work for you, like work with you and fight for the connection. Like it's not going to scare them off. They're still going to want to be with you. So I don't feel like. Yeah, they're still determined to fight for this and to fight for the relationship. Heavy on the Gemini for this new energy coming in towards you. Heavy on the Gemini for sure. We've all, I've also got some Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy for them. But heavy on the Gemini. They could have Gemini in their chart somewhere. This person that's a new soulmate energy coming in for you. So be aware of that. An ex is going to try to sabotage your new connection coming in, but it's not going to work. And in fact, the the person that really wants you, this new energy coming in, might be with the smoke and be ready to fight this person or doesn't give a damn about the fact that they're trying to come in and ruin this because they want you and they've made up their mind about it. All right. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonated, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.